Hey everyone, Ryan here, and welcome back to our head and neck anatomy series. This video will be about muscles of the ear. So the ear muscles are pretty straightforward. We have the tensor tympani muscle, and then we have the extrinsic and intrinsic auricular muscles. All of these are gonna be innervated by cranial nerve seven or the facial nerve. We do have one exception though. It seems like we have one exception each video, in this case, it's going to be the tensor tympani muscle, which is innervated instead by the trigeminal nerve, specifically V3, the mandibular nerve of cranial nerve 5. So let's start with that one. The tensor tympani muscle, not to be confused with the tensor veli palatini, which was that lateral soft palate muscle that tenses the soft palate. The tensor tympani muscle originates from the bony part of the auditory or eustachian tube and it inserts into the malleus. Now the malleus is one of the three middle ear ossicles. We have the malleus which is the hammer shaped bone, we have the incus which is the anvil shaped bone, and then we have the stapes which is the stirrup shaped bone. So all three of those bones make up the middle ear ossicles. The action of this muscle is to tense the tympanic membrane, hence the name tensor tympani, in order to dampen loud sound, in order to protect ourselves against hearing damage. Again, it's also the only ear muscle to be innervated by V3. And it might be easy to remember that because the tensor veli palatini was the only soft palate muscle that was innervated by V3. So you can think of both tensor muscles fitting into that kind of exception category and being innervated by this nerve. And remember that the first pharyngeal pouch contributes to the auditory tube as well as the middle ear. So it makes sense that this muscle would be innervated by the nerve of the first pharyngeal arch, which is this one. Okay, so next we have the extrinsic auricular muscles, all innervated by cranial nerve 7. The superior one is up here, and that's the largest. The posterior is back here, and then the anterior, which is the smallest of these three muscles, is of course located anteriorly. These are going to function to alter the position of the outer ear, or in other words, to move the ear. Just like the ex extrinsic tongue muscles were used in order to function to move the tongue. Then we have the intrinsic auricular muscles, and here we have the helicus major, which is up here, the helicus minor, which is down there, contributing to the, the helix of the ear. We have the tragicus muscle, and the anti-trachecus muscle, and then we have the oblique auricular muscle, which is up here, and we have the transverse auricular muscle down there. So those are the six main intrinsic auricular muscles, and these are going to function to alter the shape of the ear, just like the intrinsic tongue muscles functioned to alter the shape of the tongue. And this will be a trend for future muscle groups as well, that the extrinsic ones move that specific organ or body part, the intrinsic ones alter the shape of that organ or body part. So just something to keep in mind for future videos and future muscle groups. All right, so that's it for this short video. Thank you so much for watching. Please like this video if you enjoyed it and subscribe to this channel for much more on dentistry. If you're interested in supporting me and what I do here, please check out my Patreon page. I have a bunch of followers there and I'm so grateful for all of their support. You can unlock extra things like access to my video slide PDFs to take notes on them and practice questions for the board exams. So go check that out, the link will be in the description. Thanks again for watching everyone, I'll see you in the next video.